I don't think he'll come back. Like we haven't encountered him since we've been here for hours. I cannot believe we just found a box full of treasures on the property here. Okay, we're back. Clearly we're standing in our abandoned house that we've been run out of a bunch of times because of this homeless guy that's been living on my forest. You guys have probably seen the videos. They definitely got a lot of views and you guys absolutely loved them and smashed them. So thank you. We're back now. We don't expect him to be back because literally the other day we came through here like six of us and we had machetes. We had I had a gun on me and we had a bunch of stuff. We, we, we don't want to film it because we had like actual weapons that we're not allowed to carry around here on camera. We just went through that forest and we chased this dude out. We literally seen him running out. Mo, do you remember how fast he was running? Bro, he's too fast. Yeah, he, he's fast. Yeah. But he was so scared because I wasn't messing around. Like in the past couple of times we came through here to do some work on the house. And every time we come here, this freaking guy in a clown outfit, which we believe is a homeless guy. And his name is Steve, you know, because he wrote Steve all over the walls. Um, he's been running us out of here. Like he came after me with a flamethrower at one point, and then the other day he came after me into the house and I was hiding in the attic. Some people were laughing at me, but dude, it's scary. This guy had a flamethrower. He tried to kill me, kill me last time. Imagine it was you that was in this place by yourself and you had a crazy deranged freak chasing you with a freaking flamethrower. You'd be terrified too, no matter how big and strong you are. You just don't know sometimes. Like I have a daughter to look after, you know, I have Mo over here to look after. <laughs> <laughs> so we did run him out of here. We have, we've actually been coming back a couple times since haven't seen him haven't heard nothing from him i think it's clear i think he's moved on i think it's safe for us to continue working in the house cleaning the trails and just doing stuff around the house that we've been wanting to do like basically we haven't had a chance to clean the house uh, since the attack of the clown um, because like we were so scared and every time we come back here things would happen But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go start clearing a trail We're gonna go deeper and deeper into the trail into places of the forest We've never done so we're gonna do that together and then we're gonna see what happens after that. So let's go All right guys, we're going into the forest to clear some trails We got a baseball bat and a machete and we got some clippers as well So I'm gonna show you guys. I mean you guys already seen last time we cleared uh, pretty much a lot of the trail as you guys can see This is the trail that we've been working to clear and we're gonna be clearing more of it and you guys remember the guy, the homeless guy that was living here, was living just down on the right, deep in there. And basically we cleared some trees. There was a, a big tree in the way. We cut that out of the way. And uh, now what our goal is, is to clear this part and just keep going further and further into our forest and see where it leads us. We've never been in that way. No, so I've never been that way. It should be awesome. So we got, we got one of these here. We got a machete. And we got a baseball bat. Baseball bat is just for these ones here. Like this works so well on these types of bushes. And that's what we're here to do. And honestly, we're thinking, yo, we should do some, we should do some metal detecting later. Oh, you got it with you? you yeah, it. I have a metal detector. I haven't used it in years. Do you guys want me to metal detect more? Maybe we'll find stuff hidden somewhere, right? I've never even used a metal detector. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yo, machetes are friggin' awesome. Cause like literally, dude, we don't need big equipment. A machete is so good. You want to demonstrate how sharp it is? Yeah, check this out, guys. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Check it out. See that? That's like so easy to cut. Cut something yeah, harder. Cut, cut, something harder. cut that vine. Cut that vine. Right yeah, yeah, cut the vine. Really, huh? Yeah, yeah, cut the vine. Alright. Wow, bro. Wow. Okay, you ready for this? It's embarrassing. It. Oh my god. Nothing. It doesn't want to die. The vines are okay. Vines are like ropes. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep yeah, it. Yeah, alright. Let's leave the vine alone. It deserves here. to survive. Let me, let me cut something. This one right here. Okay. okay. Done. Done. Done so. Holy moly. Done so. Just like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Like literally from here till we, I don't know, till we give yeah. up on life itself. And holy moly, look at that. It goes deep. It goes really deep. Like this forest is huge. We have like 150 acres to play with here. Down that way is where homeboy Steve made his clown shelter. It's still there. I can see the sign vaguely from here. Um, oh yeah. But we're gonna be clearing a path over there that way too because we're gonna be doing some stuff down in, in that area later on, but we wanna focus on these areas for this video and then do some metal detecting because that's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Like who needs a lawnmower? Yeah, it'd be nice to have a big truck, but I can't afford a big truck to just come and clear a path, right? Yeah. Wow. Mo really wants a chance. Just don't hurt yourself. Cut <laughs> the one I wasn't even holding. <laughs> <laughs> there, you there you go. Now we got a big log in the way to cut, cut out of the way. That's a oh big log. No. That's a big log. <laughs> Not those again. So we got a big log in the way here that, I mean, we could just jump over it, but I just want to like get it out of here. Like I want the whole path to be just like super, super clear. So. Just in case we got to run. It's a huge log, bro. Right? It's huge, but it's been dead for a while. Mole's going to be a beast after this. <laughs> Already is a beast. 
fucking rolls there. Yeah. <clears throat> I only had Goku with me. Super Saiyan power, let's go! Did you fart? That was a tree. <laughs> I hope this is like the last tree that's stuck in our path. I know. I doubt it, but <laughs> Probably wishful didn't. thinking. Because we had like two tornadoes in the past month here. Yeah. A bunch of stuff fell. <laughs> Almost there. We don't need Goku. We got Gohan here. <laughs> Gohan. There you go. It's, it's cracked, yeah. Is it? Yeah. There you go. Ah, yeah. That was a good cardio. <laughs> You're probably dying right now. Whew. Let's see if I can carry this thing alone. <laughs> is, this, is it heavy? Yeah. Here, I'll give you a hand. No, no. I'm you got go, this? I'm gonna go super sane. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Someone hurting your family, come on. Alright, I'm gonna throw it here to the left. Right? Yeah. One, two. There you go. Yeah, it's beast mode. Better watch out, it clown. I'm gonna come for you. Woo! He's gone, man. This guy, I don't. After that day, I don't think he'll come back, man. Yeah, I don't think he will come back, well. But you never know, he's psycho. Yeah, exactly. Progress update. Check the thorns here. Oh man, those are really spiky. So we are pretty much out of river now. We've uh, opened up the shit out of this place with a machete, pretty much a machete, clippers, and an axe. And now we get water. Thanks, bro. There you Life go. Saver. Dude, this is so cool. So we're gonna do some metal detecting soon, but before we do that, we're gonna build a bridge. A little temporary bridge across the river because we've never been on that side. Um, so that's gonna be really interesting to see what's all the way on the other side because there's like a little river here As you guys can see it's, I think it's a man-made. I don't know if it's a man-made river to be honest, but I mean there are like tubes and like tunnels there so I think dude, it's natural bro. Imagine it well, it's a natural creek, but they probably just put tubes and stuff yeah, yeah. Oh wait, we don't need to build a bridge. We can just walk across <laughs> Look at that. We can just clear a path across. I didn't realize that that's awesome Okay, so that's gonna be the end game is to clear a path across this man-made bridge and uh, we'll start metal detecting. Ooh, I can't wait, man. Dude, look at this. This all used to be big trees here that were dead. And we cut them all down. Like, it's so clear and empty now. It's so cool. We put in a lot of work. Smash the like button, guys. <laughs> I do want to kind of knock down this tree because this tree's broken in half and it might flip over eventually. So let's... Want to do it right now? Yeah, let's, let's tear it down. Go hulk on it. You think, you think I can just push it over? Try. Oh, yo. <laughs> I barely touched it. See what I mean? It was just barely hanging there. Hold we should on. take it down, man. Yeah, we definitely gotta take it down now. Oh, nice. Holy crap. You know, what's he you know what it's held on by? A vine. Let's see this. Or maybe two vines. No, now it's touching the other tree up there. No way. It's huge. Dude, now it's got a risk of falling on someone now. Hold on. Let me just walk under it. <laughs> no, no, it's not safe. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to flip it over now. Where do you want to put it on this side? I'm just gonna let it fall. It's gonna make us like a, a natural barrier. So you never know when this thing could fall, so we should take it down, eh? Yeah. It's gonna fall right now. I just want it to fall in the right place. There, there you go. go. Nice. Wow. So cool. And we literally made like a barrier too, you know? Yep. Hey, look, you want some grapes? Are these grapes? <laughs> Wild grapes. Mmm. Actually tastes like grapes. Hustle one. No, it's actually grapes? Yeah. If we uh, die, you guys know why. Dude, I eat these all the time. Mm. This literally just came down from the tree. It's good, right? You can survive out here now. Mmm. Looks like sweet and sour. That's a whole grapevine. That's incredible. Look at that. So we're almost done. We're going to clear the path to the bridge and start metal detecting. But well, we've done, a, we've made a lot of progress. A lot of you guys in the comments have been asking for a video like this. Just clear the path and see where the forest goes. We're going to keep doing it until we reach the end, but not today. All we're going to do today is get to the bridge, finish up the bridge, 
make sure that's nice and clear and then maybe another day we'll come and continue on and we'll see what else we can find in this forest there's so much we haven't explored we've only explored like maybe two percent not even two percent of this forest it's massive and then we're gonna start metal detecting i do want to metal detect in the house to see if maybe there's something hitting in the walls we already found nazi treasure in the actual attic if you haven't seen that video the link is gonna be down below but i'm really interested to see if there's anything in the floorboards or anything like that if not maybe even outside on the property in the backyard that's completely overgrown but we'll get that sorted out eventually. All right, so we are still going at it. We have one big tree that's left in the way before we can open up a path across this like uh, bridge over this tube um, over the creek. And then uh, we've never been past this point pretty much. But I do see uh, some type of traffic coming in and out here. It's probably coyotes. There's like a trail here and it just goes deep into the forest. Then you have this river here, but we're gonna be clearing all this up. So remember how this looks now to how it's gonna look after. And then we can begin Metal detecting. I can't wait. I'm excited. I can't wait, man, for that. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have any troubles with this tree because it's so soft. Look at this. Oh, oh. dude, it's like mush. Holy moly. That is so cool. It just like falls apart. Oh my God, look at all the bugs living inside of it. Ah. Destroying their home. Screw them. <laughs> They're paying no rent. <laughs> like Steve. Like Steve. We had to evict them. I just wish we were able to get it on camera, but... We weren't filming because I just I was just really serious. Like I was scared and I just wanted the sucker gone off my property. So I came in here with like six goons, me, Mo, his brother, and three other guys. And we just chased him out. Um, he, he probably just got scared and he's seen all of us and he ran off. I don't think he'll come back. Like we haven't encountered him since. We've been here for hours, just going away. But uh, if we do get any more updates about Steve the Clown, we'll let you guys know. Keep hacking away, bro. Nice, that was quick. Dude. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> How heavy is yeah, this It's stuff? probably heavy. I want to get this out of the water. Yeah, so I'll help you out. So it doesn't block the water. Oh, that's not even heavy. No? No. <laughs> good, good, good. We wow. Did we did it. It is so clear. Like we've literally kind of unlocked a new map. It's like GTA, you know? We've unlocked the map. We don't know what's beyond that way, but we're about to start going there. But that's gonna be for another video. Um, if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments. But like, we wanna see what, like tell me, Mo, we wanna see what's on the other side of the forest. Cause keep in mind, this is even up to here, we've only explored about 3% of this place. There's still a massive amount of land. You guys have seen in the drone footage, it's forest for miles and miles and miles. But we've unlocked the river. So this is cool. I, I wonder if there's like a pond or some type of little, maybe there's a pond in here somewhere, right? Go like for a, a swim? Like a, like a place we could swim. Like, I don't know if we could swim here. I mean, we probably could, but you know what I, like, we should do one day? We should just like walk through the creek and just clear as many shrubs as we can on the way to make like a nice lazy river. Throw some tubes on it. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> that'd be so cool. <laughs> we are losing time though because the weather's getting colder and colder here now in Canada. It was actually cold this morning. It just depends on how much of summer season we have left, which doesn't look like we got much left. And then I'm dipping to the Dominican Republic and we'll continue the, the videos there. Most thought he's seen like some opening through there. I haven't been through there yet. And I'm not gonna go today because we're pretty exhausted. We're gonna go grab lunch and then start metal detecting. And I cannot wait. Like there's bound to be something. This land is ancient. There's bound to be something cool. I doubt we're gonna find it. Oh my god, there's bees. No. There's bees. Wait, wait. <laughs> Not again. We're gonna go metal detecting inside the house. Maybe there's something like hidden under a floorboard. Or... There's something here? Oh, it's a nail. It's a nail. I don't know if this is gonna work inside, to be honest. So we've been here for like five hours today. No clown so far, no homeless guy. So I'm pretty sure all this is gonna pick up is nails. Yeah, like, how are we gonna even dig that? That's, this is so stupid. Yeah. For all the like professional metal detectors out there, they're gonna be like, why? <laughs> why? This is dumb. But you never know. Let's go upstairs. Let's see, look, like, it's, it's picking up on like nails and stuff. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's like stuff in the walls. Yeah. I mean, I did find something. Iron. Probably nails. Yeah. All this is gonna give us is nothing but nails. I know this part looks so stupid right now. Like, absolutely stupid. <laughs> Metal detecting in the house. Like, think about it. Even if, we, even if we didn't think there was something, what are we going to find? These are the floorboards. I say we take this outside. You want to go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. This is a stupid idea. This was my idea, by the way. This is a stupid idea. Let's go outside. <laughs> Alright, so we know it was stupid to go in the house and try to metal detect. I already knew that already. I was just messing around with y'all. But we're going to go into the bushes. 
especially in that area because it looks like there's a lot of ground disturbances there by something big in the past they might have like like used a bulldozer to like clear the property at one point before all this grew back so there might be like lost valuables in there so maybe we can find something what do you think you found that's cool if anything it's probably a nail oh look there's a washer uh i think that's what i got what, what i got yeah we found a metal washer here come closer we got found like a metal washer right here pretty cool but we're looking for like old antiques just, just possible it's possible that there are antiques you know what i mean we got this, this is stuff everywhere here look like this area here it's all mulch very soft ground there's bound to be something it looks like it looks like somebody got a wood chipper a long time ago and chipped down a lot of trees and they just left it here most likely whoever owned this house years and years ago I don't know. It's so soft. Yo, something smells dead. Yeah, what is that smell? It smells like something died. Weird. It's, it's a bad smell. Imagine there's a dead body. Probably like a dead animal. A coyote, maybe a deer. He already pooped. Is it? Yeah. Whoa! Look at this thing. Hold on, pulling it out. Wow. Just caught a. <laughs> you filming? Yeah. Oh, he just tried to bite me. It's okay, man. Yeah, I'm filming now. He's trying to bite me. How deep does this thing uh, detect? Do you know? No, I don't. But I've. Ha oh! We got something. Wanna dig? Let's dig there. Hold on. Sometimes. Sometimes. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's that? Two chipmunks. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's not the. It's not the guy. It's not the guy, hopefully. What the hell am I gonna find in here? Right? Does it tell you what it finds? Like what kind of metal? Yeah, it's like aluminum, copper. It says gold and all that, like if you find gold. I don't know about gold. Gold is, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if it detects gold. Whatever it was, it's not detecting it anymore. Whoa. My foot, Whoa. my foot just went into a hole here. Whoa. It's so soft. Why is it so soft? It's weird. I'm not getting anything though. Hey look, there's a tarp over here. What the heck was that for? Something smells bad. Uh, Ew, it smells like there's something dead. Smell that. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's a weird smell. Probably just some nasty, stale ass water. Oh, I got something. Want to dig? Huh? Right here. Yeah, I'm getting something right in this. Yeah, area. right there. Here, let's try digging. I don't, there's vines everywhere. I don't see anything now. That's the problem with this. You don't, you can't see it. So we're gonna dig. So let's dig. Okay. You got the shovel. Look, level go. 41, whatever it is. Whoa. So it's strong. Level 41. It doesn't say what though. This is so cool, bro. It's the first time I uh, use a really metal detector. Yeah. Look at all these vines. This place is old, man. Yeah, you heard that? Anything? Nah. What does it say? Nothing. It could. It could. Oh wait, look. There's a nail here. No, that's not a nail. It's probably just like some nails from the construction. It probably is, to be honest. I'm still getting readings from. What does it check it? It's a high reading, but it's not coming from the shovel. No, there's no metal in here. See, it's still making noises right yeah, here. Yeah, big time. Area. Yeah, keep digging oh, there. What the f is that? What'd you find? What the f is this, dude? Oh, it's probably just garbage. Right? What is this? I mean, it was going off, right? Could be garbage. But it was going off or something. That's oh, a book? I think so. Someone's taking care of this book. Must be special. Oh, wow. Check it out. Wow. Okay. It's a Bible. Oh, what's in this? This is so. Be careful, be careful. <gasps> Bro. What the f***? What did you just find? Treasures, literally. Is that gold? Why? No, look, I'm trying to be very careful with this. Yeah. Dude, look at this old box buried here. 
Oh, oh it stinks so God. bad. It smells. There's something dead here. Look at this. There's, there's, dude. We just found another treasure on this property. There's, these are stamps. Oh my God, bro. Yo, these are probably worth a lot. Dude, there's Canadian ones. There's German stamps. There's British stamps. What the? F this one's German right here in my hand. I think so. D yeah, this is so cool, bro. DDR, what's DDR? I cannot believe we just found a box full of treasures on the property here. Whole, yo, we gotta dissect this, dude. Wow. Dude, there's like thousands of stamps here. Bro, you bought a property with like treasure on it. Well, it's a very old property, right? And we found Nazi treasures in the attic before. Look, this is Dutch. I guarantee you there's more Nazi stuff in here. We gotta dissect oh this. God. Russian. We got some Russian stuff, very old stamps. You know, I heard stamps are worth a lot of money, man. 1876 to 1966. Are these worth money? What? This is. These are possibly worth a lot of money. Dude, I don't know anything about stamps, but I know. Abraham Lincoln. Whoa. What the f***? Oh, bro. What? That? Dude, Abraham. It smells so old. Oh, my goodness. Some Chinese shit here, I think. No way. Or Japanese. Australian. Hard to see here. Let's take these out into the light. But what set it off? Like what what was metallic in here that set it, must it off? Be something in there, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go down there. Yeah, yeah let's get out of here. It smells. Dude, we just found a freaking box. <laughs> look at how old this is. Yo, we should literally it's dig like this whole place up, man. Bro, we can probably find more stuff. But look at how how old and rotting away it is. Somebody turned a book or a fake box and just buried this here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's wow. check it out. We've been, we've been searching for like literally hours and got nothing. So we came inside because it was really hot out and it's actually cooler in here. But what we just found is absolutely astonishing. I don't know anything about stamps, but I know people collect them. And there's some really old stuff here. Like this one's Hungary, number 1539 of 43. Price 25 cents back in the days. The old days. Like this is a Hungarian. This is a Hungarian stamp. Look at this, come, come closer, Mo. Like, look at that. Wow. Jesus, I bet there's some like Nazi stamps in here. Since we've already found Nazi stuff in this house, I'd be really interested. Like, let's see, like, let's dump this out. Careful. Oh, there's something metal in Oh, what the f Oh, that's probably what- uh, That's probably what's, oh, there's coins. No. There's coins in here. What? Okay. Cool, let's check this out. What All right, so that's probably what set off the, uh, the metal detector. So this is Canada. There's a key in here, a very old, rusty key. Can you see that? Yeah. You got good lighting? Canada used. So whoever whoever had this was probably Canadian. Oh, look at this coin. Where is it from? Let's see. Nah. What is it? Nazi. No. Yeah. Wait, is it? What language is that? Let me see. Dude, it is Nazi. Is it? <laughs> it's Nazi. Whoa. I don't know, is it? I think it is. Let me see. Look at that. Where's my phone? Let me get some light on that. I see. I don't know. Let me get some it's light. It's a on. strange language. The dude, there's a general on there. He looks Nazi. <laughs> he looks Nazi. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, the person who lived here for sure was a Nazi here. This might be some type of. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, here, let me see the camera for a sec. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Zoom in. Hold the light over this, Mo. Okay. This is crazy, guys. Look at what we just found. There's a, a coin here. I don't know what language that is, but that looks like a Nazi soldier. I don't know, there could, it could be, could not be. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not 100% sure, but this is what the front of it looks like. Hold on, let me get a zoom on that for y'all. Yeah, that's a weird coin. So that's probably what set off the, the metal detector. Yeah, you, you can't see that, it's so small. Yeah, it's too small, she can't see it, bro. Sorry. <laughs> That's probably what set off the smoke, uh, the smoke detector. The uh, metal detector. Metal detector yeah. There's, uh, there's even shells for some reason. Look at that. It's like a seashell. Seashell. Someone was collecting something and they buried them over time. This is absolutely wild. There's so much here left. What is that? Hungary Museum of Fine Arts, 1970. Cancelled. It's like a 1870 to 1970. Wow, that is so cool. So we got. Oh man, look at this, dude. Africa, South African stamps. Dude, I should sell these. Yo, maybe I should put these on like eBay or something. This is Abraham Lincoln again. Dude, I'm so like mind right now that we just found these. Oh, <gasps> Space Moon Apollo special offers. Whoa, let me see. What? Do you have any of those? Discontinued packets. 
Someone was a stamp collector, and someone in here loved Nazi items, or was a Nazi himself, because we found the Nazi stuff up there. We just found this coin. I'm still not sure if it's a Nazi coin. It could be, but let's figure out and see if there's any Nazi stamps in here. That like that'd be really interesting. I'm gonna go through all these, but I'm not gonna show it all on camera because it might be boring to, for some of you guys that don't have like you know the time to sit here and watch these videos all the way through. But let's see what's in here. Holy shit, dude! Look at this. These are, what language is this? No clue what language that is. Mygar Posta. 1962. Let me see, bro, these must be worth something. I'm not sure, like, I don't know anything about stamps. Hey, if anybody wants to buy these, make me an offer. I'll sell these to you. These are so cool. $10,000 right now. Probably worth more than that, to be honest. Yeah, I know, what the heck? Somebody was very meticulous, because look at this. They just, like, made all these, like, wrappers for them. This one's from Denmark, it says it on the outside. Yeah, these are from the 1900s from Denmark. 1945. Wow, those are ancient. I'm not 100% sure, but this might be a Nazi German one. You found one? Yeah. I don't know what that first word is, but the other one is Reich. What um, does that mean? I'm gonna open up my translator app here. So the cool thing about these translator apps is you can just scan over it. I'm on detect. <gasps> oh! What does it say? German what? Empire! Look! Wow. It says German Empire! Oh my god, I'm gonna screenshot that. We found a German fucking empire yes. stamp, German Nazi stamp, bro. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? We just found another German, tr basically treasure in this house. This is amazing. Who lived here before, man? We I need to get their name and see what's up with them. I have no idea, bro. I mean, this house has been passed on. It's been abandoned for years, so I'm gonna keep the German one here. Maybe we'll find another German. As if we just found a fucking ah. German one. It literally says German Empire. <laughs> Unreal. Whoa, I cannot wait. This is so cool. And like, it took us two hours to metal detect, but... <gasps> What's that? There's a photo. What? Oh, we got Spain. Look at this, we got Spain. España. I want more German stuff. I think it's just kind of cool. Bro, I love this, this is awesome. We got like a lot of Canada. Oh, we just found, I think I found another German one. Hold on. Okay, check, check. German Democratic Republic. Wow. Another one. I'm gonna screenshot these and put them on the screen. But another German, German Democratic Republic. Uh, it doesn't say the year on this one. Anything under 1945 is gonna be like Nazi Hitler stuff, you know? Yeah, bro, this is awesome. I've never seen this before. I've never seen, I've never seen a stamp collection before. This is my first ever, this says cow for some reason. Cow? Cow, I think I have it upside down, hold on. Christmas Canada one, that's so cool. Wow, let me see. What? Italian Republic. Guys, there's like stamps for days here. There's like probably thousands of stamps here. This one's definitely German. Oh yeah. German Empire, 500,000. 500,000? Uh, well, that's what it says. Thousand. thousand. Sounds German, thousand. Yeah, German Empire, 500,000. I'm gonna screenshot that. Here, look, you can see that. Beautiful, wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Holy moly, guys. We're finding so many of these like German Empire ones. Like, we're finding more Nazi treasures. These are treasures. This is, this is what this is. These are treasures. Dude, I should like eBay, put this up on eBay. Should I sell this on eBay? If so, there might be an eBay link in the description below. Maybe I can auction another one. I found another, uh, no, this one might be Dutch. Let's see. There's so many German ones in here though. Yeah, I wanna go through these with you. They're so sick, look at that. German Federal Post Office. Yep, that's what this one is. Does it say the year? Uh, no year, no. Berlin. Nice. Wow, so this one here that I just found, German Federal Post Office. This is so freaking cool. So cool. Dude, this is crazy, like, wow. I was expecting to find garbage, but we found literally stamps, man. There's a lot of Spain as well. There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to document all this in, into one video. We got more here, more German. German vending, I have no way. German Federal Post Office, another one. I don't know why the, 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 the translation said, I have no way. <laughs> so that's what these ones are. It's a German federal post office stamp. Arabic one and the Sheikh is holding an AK-47. Bro. Wow, hold on, let me see. What the hell? Wow. He's literally, and there's a goat there or some type of gazelle. Yeah, that's a Maha, I think they call it. Maha. Oh my God. What? <laughs> wow. This is so cool. It's I'm an Emirati. This is probably the coolest find, like the coolest thing I've ever found in my life. Colombia. They have stamps from all over the world. They got here. the coca, the coca plant on there. No. <laughs> Colombia. 
Dude, that's so cool. Dude, that's awesome. They have the coca plant. What the hell? Hello? You heard that? What are you doing this, just here? I thought I heard something. Don't tell me this guy's back. There's no way, bro. Bro, if he's back. You think he's back? I hope not. I heard something. I heard some movements in here, like loud movements. Yeah, same. So out of a box that has like literally thousands of stamps that we literally just found here, guys, um, using the metal detector, we have one, two, three, four, five, six German and one, I think it's a German coin. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I was able to Google translate all these other stamps and they were definitely from the German Empire, which is freaking mind-blowing. So there's a correlation between that. Whoever lived here could have been German, could have been a Nazi sympathizer. because We did find the Nazi um, clothes pins up there and the photos of the actual soldiers up in the attic. So that's two things that we found on this property that has to do with Nazis. That means, <laughs> dude, the, I don't know what that means, but I'm finding lots of treasures and I'm willing to bet you there's more stuff around this property. Me and Mo are gonna be cleaning this property more and more as time goes by and you never know, we might find stuff. So make sure to subscribe, smash the like button and I really think we're gonna find more stuff on this property. I'm so excited. And now that the, this clown guy's out of the way, I hope for good, um, we can get to work on this place and clean it up really good. Smash the like button guys, comment something positive down below so I can heart your comment. And make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can watch my stories there. I'm always making more stories so the adventures continues on my Instagram. So I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. I'll see you on the next one.